Coming back to our sermon sentence, we face the formidable foe by faith in the Lord our God because he is faithful. He's faithful. As they are singing and praising, as they have stood and behold what the Lord is doing, they give praise. They began to sing and praise, and the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, so that they defeated each other. So that when the army of Judah and the people of Jerusalem come to that crest in the hill where they can look out on the battlefield, assuming the battle is going to be before them, rather than seeing a vast army approaching, they see the bodies of armies slain on the field below them, like the locusts of Minnesota frozen um, in that night on April. Um, here on the battlefield, they have all perished by each other's swords. The battle is the Lord's trust him. He is faithful. And so they go back to Jerusalem rejoicing in the Lord's faithfulness. And because the fear of God is over the surrounding nations, when they hear what God had done, Jehoshaphat, and for the rest of his reign, enjoys peace because God has given him rest on every side. There's no one that dares come against him because of his God. 